Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Live. I'm going to do a market review here of the SPY, and uh, I guess I'm going to do one in the QQQs as well then after this in a separate video. I know everyone now probably watching this market thinks that this is doing a major correction or is going to do a major correction, that this is the start of a major correction, that we're going to have a big correction, that the market's going to come in. I, I don't I don't see it okay now let's just go back in time here the market rallied up here made new highs came in okay rallied up here completely reversed hundred percent this bearish gap down that happened back here in July this is the middle of July rallied over this followed through higher gapped up made a new high okay everything looks good never got to the two hundred dollar number I said it would got within a less than a buck of that number here uh, this is a July 24th, market failed in a buy set up here, and this was a sign that the market was going to have some kind of pull in. I thought it would hold better in here. It didn't. How did I know? Market gap down here. Market gap down here and actually fell this day and actually had, you know, pretty much a power trend bearish day in here back on the 31st. So you could have shorted, you know, a million things actually made money here in this day. This is the 31st. It was last week. But I really was surprised to see that gap fall in there and was wondering if it was going to have the fall through a hold. Well, the next day got up, market gap down, and I thought it would hold in here. But we tried in the morning, we failed, we ended up closing neutral. And the next day we gapped up. Gapped up here, it held yesterday. I did call this uh, accurately yesterday as far as the hold. Had a nice green day, rallied, you could have bought the market. Didn't quite get up to 194.50 or 195, but had a nice move. Thought the market would gap up this morning. We didn't have the energy to do it. Not only did we not have the energy to gap up, we actually gapped down. The market did gap down, closed the night before last night at 193.89 and gap down. Gap down here at one, where do we open? 193.10. We gap down like 80 cents. <clears throat> so it had to look a bit uh, bearishness about it this morning in the way we were gapping, but I still thought that we had the potential to hold today. Let's just look at how we did trade here for most of the morning. Pretend you didn't see this. This is all here in the morning. We held, we held, we held, we held, we held. I thought we just hold neutral, basically holding, not really going anywhere higher, but not going lower, holding here today. But then something came out about Russia and going to war with Ukraine. There was negative news out there, and then the market fell. The market fell, broke the low, and this happened late. Uh, this was late. 1.30 in the afternoon is late for the market to make any kind of move like this. And 1.30 is not any type of major reversal time. It was just a reaction then, a news reaction that happened. And the market was hanging on not great today. I mean, it was hanging on, but not like amazingly well or anything. Like the market was going to rally up over yesterday's high into the afternoon, even if this news reaction hadn't happened. So any instigator to make the market fall in here because it was showing heaviness today. It just, it didn't need much. It didn't take much. It didn't need much. It didn't take it at all. And it just went, okay? It was a quick move down, though, into an area and bounced. Now, I know we broke, uh, or it, it, I mean, the numbers are showing that we actually broke under 57 here, but this counts as a hold to me, okay? This is what I would look at as a hold, okay? And I just know we're not going to break this, bearish, this uh, bullish gap. So this bullish gap that happened back here at 527, the low of that gap is 190.95, and I, we're just not going to break it. We are just not going to break that gap, and we are right there. So this is the end of the bull-in. And I know that people are thinking everywhere in the planet that the market's going to come in, and it's going to come in, and it's going to keep coming in. It's going to come all the way in here. Could that happen? Yes. Is it going to happen? No, I don't think so. I believe this bullish gap was significant here that happened on May 27th, and I believe this holds this market up. And I guess we're going to wait and see. You know, to be honest with you, we're going to know tomorrow. It's not going to take long to find out. <laughs> because if we're going to break lower and break that gap, we're going to do it tomorrow. <laughs> and we'll even gap neutral, gap down, and fall. But I think that we hold. So we'll have to find out and see where we gap tomorrow. And I'll read the gap in the market tomorrow to know. Okay? Tricky times in here because everybody wants to start shorting. People are short this market now. There are people that are short this market now. People that shorted this gap that happened here, and there was some follow through, and I know people shorted this in here. And for all intents and purposes, this looks like a daily sell setup where the market triggered in here today when it fell. When it fell and broke 192.05, the market looks like it's triggering a daily sell setup, but the market really isn't triggering on a daily sell setup because this market's going to hold. It's going to be a fake out. And my read on this is that we hold now after today. And I know I said that yesterday, and I know I said the day before. But that's my read on this, that this is the end of whatever correction would have been. And I thought there would be a very small correction, if any, or really not anything. It would be like one red bar or two red bars. Like, I thought that would be it. 
Like I was even thinking this was the end, that was it. That was all the correction we're going to get. Now we did get this nice gap that happened in here that followed through in the day. But this is it. Buying is going to step into this market here, and I don't know where, but I do believe it's soon now because I'm looking at this picture here. And I know people think we're going to break. People think the market's extended. People think we're going to break. People think we're going to fall under 190, 188, 186. People even think we're going to get down to 180. People think this market's going to break. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. If I see it happening in a gap, in a gap that happens when I get up tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, Friday morning, I'll read it live time in the trading room and I'll see it live. But I don't see that happening here as of the close of business today. My read right now on August 5th at 4 o'clock Eastern time, the way this buy closed here today is going to hold. And that sounds crazy because of the way that we traded with a red bar today. But I think this is the end of whatever correction or pull in the market was going to give. And I didn't even think it would be this big. Okay. So this is like plenty here. We are still going to get up and make a new high. We're still going to get up and hit the number over 200. We're going to hit that above the number 200. And when we do make a new high, it will blow through all these people that are short in this market now that should not be short this because the market's in an uptrend and the market is strong. And this gap that happened here was temporary, not permanent, meaning doesn't break this chart in any directional bias that moves it down. Could we come all the way down here? Yes. If we did, would the market be bearish? No. No, it wouldn't. But this is a stronger hold in here. So that's where I'm looking for it to happen. Could we have held in here? Yes. Was this as important of an area as this? No. If you don't know how to read gaps, you wouldn't even know what you're looking at here, which I do, so I know what I'm seeing. And I guess we're going to find out tomorrow. I mean, it's really not going to take long. But my call is here that this market holds after today. And I know I said that the last two days, but this is actually doesn't count as a break. It was a news reaction thing that happened today at 1.30, and that's it. Okay. And people are just desperate to short this market anyway. So anytime something happens, like people that want to short, just short. But I'm telling you, the, the longs, the bulls are going to step in. They're going to come in. They're going to come in. And they're going to come in hard. Okay. And beautifully whenever it happens. So for those people that like to go long, uh, you know, when you know how to read this here, there'll be a position or a placement to go long in here soon. Uh, to get the market up over a new high. But, you know, honestly, people that want to go long should be long in this market anyways. And everybody that's taking profits out here on these red bars and the market's coming in that are selling out of stuff is going to be sorry. Because I did say a couple videos ago, I said it in a bunch of videos actually back in July, maybe even in June. And now here we are in August. Again, timing is always something because I'm reading stuff in real life time. I trade every day and I read the gaps and I read the market trading in live time. I'm very good at reading it live to see what's happening. If something changes, if it does this, if it does that. But I'm also really good at seeing what's going to happen in the long term. Although the long term, I can't always predict the exact day that something's going to hit the target in the long term. But I'm telling you, this buy is going to hit over 200. And everything I said in the prior videos is still intact. The market is going to hit some crazy number this year. Before the end of the calendar year, the market is going to go so hit some crazy number that no one is going to expect. No one is even going to think it was even possible. Market is going to blow over 200 and rally up to some crazy number. I don't know when, but it's going to do it this year. And it's going to be something that people will not expect. And the way that this is shaping up here, okay, is really giving people an air of thinking that this market is going to turn or has turned, which it hasn't, or people are going to think that it is going to turn, which it's not. And that's going to bring in people making some decisions here that, you know, I think are going to be problematic because no one should be shorting this market. But people are. People definitely are. You have to know what you're doing when you trade. Oh, I can't, I cannot, you have to know how to read price. I mean, I, I actually was called somebody today about the class and the man said he, he couldn't talk. He, he was, he was in so many trades and the market was falling like a brick and he was in all these trades. It was panic. I mean, utter panic was in this man's voice. Like you think that someone would have had a gun to his head at the time that he picked up the phone when I called him. That's how much panic was in this man's voice. He must have been in trains in the wrong direction. And I don't know if he didn't have stops in. I have, I have no idea what was going on. But the man sounded as scared, like as if a lion was attacking him or if somebody had a gun to his head. I mean, that's how scared this man was on the phone. I, I felt bad for him. But, you know, so I quickly got off the phone with him. But anyways, trading is one of these things where if you want to trade and take risk, you absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, have to learn what to do. I never, never trade in fear. And I don't trade like I'm scared. And, and I'm not worried even if I take a position, if I get stopped out and I lose. I know what I'm going to lose in it. And I have a stop in. 
to, to hear that panic in that man's voice. There's so many people that are training and they have no idea what they're doing. And it's, it's actually shocking to me, actually. It's actually shocking. And that kind of panic hurts your physical body, hurts your emotions. That kind of stress, I would never want to trade if I felt like that kind of stress. When I take my trains, I have conviction in them. It's not stressful. I do them. They either work or they don't. I'm, I'm not in a panic mode. I could never trade if every single day it was panic mode or even two out of three out of five days out of a month were panic mode. I'm, I'm fine with the risks that I take. I'm fine with the trades that I take. I believe in them. And when one or two don't work, it's not a big deal. Train in a relaxed fashion. Enjoy what you're doing. This is fun, people. It's fun, okay? And if it's not fun, then I don't, I don't know why some people do it. Uh, I would never want to stress myself out like that. Anyways, this is going to hold. And don't trade unless you know how. Don't risk money in the market. It's your hard-earned money unless you know how. And I'm teaching people how to do it. So if you want to come learn from me, you can email me. My email is melissa at the stockswish.com. We'll see how the market gaps tomorrow morning. I'll tell me a lot here. But my reading this right now at the close of business on August 5th is the market holds here. This is the end of this move here, this down move. And the market's going to do something. Could even do it in the gap tomorrow. Anyways, the class is this weekend. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com if you'd like more information to sign up for the class. Talk to you later.